Dear students, welcome back. This is Dr. Biju Vasudevan and this is the part 2 of the video for week 10 for class 1, Math 1. In this video, we will discuss Related Rates, chapter 3.4. Uh, in this section, we will discuss some problems to find the rate of uh, change of one variable with respect to rate of change of other variable. <coughs> for example, if y is given as a function of x, <coughs> function of x, and x is a function of t, function of t, g of t. Now the question is, so he, see, he, see here you can find here y is a function of x and x is a function of t. So y can be differentiated with respect to x dy by dx and x can be differentiated with respect to t. Now the question is whether y can be directly differentiated with respect to t. So what is dy by dt? That's the question. So we can write the formula here. dy by dt is first differentiate y with respect to x, dy by dx, and then x with respect to t. That is the product of these two in a row, in the right side. dy by dt, dx, and dx by dt. Just multiply them, you get the answer. So rate of change of y with respect to t is nothing but rate of change of y with respect to x into rate of change of x with respect to t. So this technique we are going to use. The same can be expanded for two variables. When z is a function of two variables x, y, and x is a function of t, y is a function of t. Now if we want to differentiate z with respect to t, d z with respect to t. So here the first branch will give you dou z by dou x, this one dx by dt. Plus second branch will give you dou z by dou y dy by dt this is called a chain rule of partial derivation actually for partial derivation is not in your syllabus so we need to worry about total derivatives <coughs> so the procedure has been given here just go through it uh, we will discuss the procedure directly with the problems let's go to exercise set 3.4 mm, see here is given y is a function of x okay and so the question is both x and y denote function of t. Okay, both are functions of t is given. Related by the given equation. Related by the given equation. So when you substitute, if I know what is x, if x is t square or something given, then I can substitute here, can convert y into function of t. But it's not right now. Use this equation, this equation, and the given information to find the specified derivative. So <coughs> given equation is well, I mean y is equal to 3x plus 5. The question is find dy by dt, dy over dt. So when you differentiate with respect to t on both sides, this is dy over dt. We differentiate this one, 3 is constant. When you differentiate x with respect to x, it will be 1. And then we will write dx by dt and differentiation of constant is 0. Now dx by dt is given in the problem case A dx by dt is 2 therefore the answer is 3 into 1 is 3 and this is 2 the answer is 6 now the question is what is the value of what is the role of this x equal to 1 in this case we don't use this value actually in such a uh, derivation if there is x here if uh, if you get a function y is equal to x square and if you find dy by dt you will get 2x and dx by dt in this case, the x value can be used, otherwise no mean of giving this x, isn't it? Here we don't want this x. So that's the end of first case. Try the second one in the similar way yourself. Here dy by dt, this part is given in the second case. You are asked to find dx by dt for the second case. No need to use, I think, this one, okay? Let's go to the next one. Here is a kind of uh, function that involves both the variables, so you need to write in explicit form no let's write implicit differentiation let's use implicit differentiation directly uh, i'll solve one part second part is your practice 4x square plus so what is the question the question is find dy over dt isn't it okay let's differentiate the entire function the given is 4x square plus 9y square is uh, Differentiate this equation with respect to this uh, with respect to t on both the sides. So we know both x and y are functions of t. So it is possible to differentiate x and y with respect to t. When you differentiate x square, 4x square, you get 8x, and then you write dx by dt by using the concept of chain rule. 
and here in the side right side uh, 918y and then dy over dt the right side is constant so zero so here in the left side we have all these terms the question is what is dy over dt isn't it all other values are given x and y given here x is 2 1 over 2 root 2 y is 1 over 3 root 2 and dx by dt is 3 substitute all the values here 8 x x is x is given at the point x is 1 over 2 root 2 dx over dt is given here it is 3 plus 18 y y is the second mm, there is a corner x y is given here y is 1 over 3 root 2 and the question is what is dy over dt in the right side is 0 so this will be 3 into 3 into so 8 can be cancelled here so you get it is mm, 2 into 3 6 over root 2 plus here mm, when you divide 18 by 3 again 6 over root 2 dy by dt is 0 so uh, 6 uh, actually this is uh, 2 4 into 3 12 actually here it is 12 12 uh, over 2 plus 6 over root 2 so we, we will take this to the right side and solve it what do you get mm, 6 over root 2 dy uh, dt is equal to negative 12 over root 2 so root 2 can be cancelled 2 can be divided the answer is dy by dt is negative 2 that's it so rate of change of y with respect to t is negative 2 try the second part yourself <coughs> now here it's been given actually partial derivative is not in yourself but we can try this kind of problem also z is a function of two variables remember this chart z is a function of two variables x and y both x and y are functions of one variable when a function is a function of two variable differentiating with respect to one variable is partial derivative you will write dou x by dou t but x is a function of only one variable so derivative is total derivative dx by dt here it is dou y by dou t and dy by dt so the first branch the product of the elements in the first branch plus the first product of the elements in the second branch this is what we are writing as a formula here mm. d is at over dt change so x and y both are functions of t isn't it uh, anyway so we will write uh, dou z by dou t by using formula first differentiate uh, z uh, so this is dou z by dou x this is dou z by um, dou z by and dou y actually this uh, branch z is differentiated with respect to y dou z by dou y in this branch the first um, line is for dou z by dou is x we differentiate z with respect to x and x with respect to t differentiate z with respect to y and y with respect to t so first branch is dou z with respect to x and then dx by dt second branch dou is a differential z with respect to y partially and then dx by um, d uh, we will write it as dy by dt this is the formula actually for two variable function is that is a function of two variable x and y both x and y are functions of only one variable so when both x and y are changing with respect to time isn't it what are the given information x is given y is given x is 1 y is 2 and of course x is decreasing at the rate of 2 so dx over dt is dx over dt is negative 2 and what is dy over dt and y is increasing so it is positive when it is decreasing it is negative when it is increasing it is positive at the rate of 3 units per second so dy by dt is 3 so these two information have been given these two information have been given we have to find dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y from this one from the first equation 
So when you differentiate z with respect to only x, keep the y as constant. Differentiate only x cube. Not it's not a change, it's not a implicit differentiation, isn't it? Here partial derivation is called. So when you differentiate z with respect to x, we call 3x square y square remains as it is. And similarly, when you differentiate z partially with respect to y, keep y keep x as constant. X cube will remain. Derivation of y square is 2y. That's it. No divided by dx. That is partial derivation. Isn't it? So this information should be used here. First, dou z by dou x is 3x square y square and this is negative 2 dx by 2 is given here plus dou z by dou y is uh, um, x cube into 2y into dy by is 3 now substitute the values of x and y x is 1 y is 2 the question is how fast z is changing so rate of change of z with respect to the time that's the question dz by dt isn't it so whether it's increasing or decreasing, if the answer is negative, then it is decreasing. If the answer is positive, then it is increasing. So when x is 1, this is 1, y is square, y is 2, y square is 4 into minus 2. So x is 1, 2 into 2, again 4 is 3. What do you get finally? Uh, 12 into minus 2, minus 24. Minus 24 plus 12, the answer is negative. 12. Mm, is it centimeter or what? Uh, it's given units, no units given. So units per second, that's it. So do is it by due to negative 12 units per second. So this is is it is decreasing. That's the end of this problem. Let's try the other problem. This kind of application problems are possibly asked in the exams. Oil spilled from a ruptured tanker spreads in a circle. So when oil this is the tank, eh? assume that this is the tank, mm -hmm. actually it's a tanker, uh, okay. when it spreads, when it spills, it spreads as a circle, isn't it, it's a circle, now, a circle whose area increases, what is it, change of area, area dA with respect to time, dA by dt dA by dt is 6 miles square by per hour, isn't it? Okay. But what is the formula for a, what is the formula for a circle, area of the circle? Area of the circle is pi r square. When you differentiate both the sides with respect to t, this is dA over dt, pi is constant. 2r dr over dt. This is the rate of the relation of rate of changes, isn't it? Now the question is how fast is the radius of the spill is increasing? Dr by dt. The question is what is dr by dt? You have dA by dt is given here. You have constant pi. 2 the value of radius when the area is 9 miles square. So area is given, you should find radius from this equation. So what is area? Area is 9. This gives 9 is equal to pi r square. So r square is 9 over pi and r is plus or minus root 9 over pi and radius is positive. We take um, root 9 over pi as our r. Now substitute everything in this equation. Find dr over d theta. So let me try dA by dt in the left side it is 6 which is 2 pi r r is um, root 9 root 9 is 3 isn't it 3 over root pi so r is given here root 9 over pi that is 3 over pi and dr over d theta the question is what is dr over d theta so this 2 into 3 will be 6 this can be cancelled with this one pi over root pi will be root pi so it will be it will be dr over dt will be 1 over root pi mile per hour miles per hour that's what given the end of this problem so in this way we can solve two more problems and we can conclude this chapter a spherical balloon 
a spear shaped balloon like a ball isn't it like a ball so what is the volume of the spear you should remember the volume of the spear formula for volume of the spear mm, volume of the spear is v is 4 over 3 pi r cube that is the volume so when we write a volume in terms of r radius or diameter of the question we'll write it inflated so a spherical balloon is inflated you are uh, filling the balloon with the uh, air so that its the volume is increasing at the rate of 3 foot cube per minute per time isn't it per minute okay so rate of change of volume dv over dt has been given which is 3 3 and 3 foot cube how fast is the diameter of the balloon is increasing so the question is what is the rate of change of the diameter not radius d d and d d capital d over dt this is the question so we are given we have the formula in terms of r but we should convert it into in terms of d what is the relation between r and d d is 2 times r so r can be replaced by d over 2 in this formula so write the formula again v is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube can be written as d cube by 8 now write the rate of change dv by dt differentiate with respect to t on both sides only the very very functions v and d are functions of t right here this is 4 8 can be cancelled this is 2 into 3 it will be 6 in the denominator 1 over 6 this pi over 6 pi over 6 differentiate d cube with this 3 d square into d d over dt and this is the term to be found we have the value of d what is it? radius is 1 feet given here radius is 1 feet so when radius is 1 feet what is d d is 1 um, then it is 2 into 1 d is 2 so d is 2 we can use here dv by dt is given dv by dt is given here 3 so we use all this information here and then dv by dt which is 3 which is equal to pi over 6 this can be cancelled here isn't it 2 so pi by 2 d square d is 2 2 square is 4 and d d t d variable d t so cross multiply this two here six over four pi six, uh, six over four pi isn't it? this can be can be cancelled here two three by two pi so this will be d d by d t is equal to three over two pi foot per minute that's the end of this problem mm, the last question is a ladder problem do you have a graph mm. we don't have a graph here isn't it it's okay mm, a ladder is leaning towards the wall this is the wall this is the ground ground is x axis wall is y axis a ladder is here this is our ladder this uh, length of the ladder is 17 foot if the bottom of the ladder is pulled along the uh, ground away from the wall so bottom is pulled in this direction dx by dt rate of change of x with respect to t is 5 foot Per second so 5 is the unit dx by dt how fast will the top of the ladder this is the top of the ladder will be moving down what is the rate of change of y with respect to t that is the question now by Pythagoras theorem the relation between x and y should be identified isn't it what is it so by Pythagoras theorem x square plus y square is equal to 17 square so another information given how fast will the top of the ladder will be moving down the wall when it is 8 feet above the ground 
so 8 feet above the ground is the length of the this distance of y when it is 8 feet y is 8 what is x okay we'll find first differentiate this equation what is it 2x dx by dt plus 2y dy by dt and the zero is constant when you differentiate constant zero. what is the question how fast so question is dy by dt so this is the term we need to find and we need dx by dt is given here 5 we want the values of x and y x is given x is not given y is given y is 8 so find when y is 8 what is x so using Pythagoras theorem find what is x x square is equal to hmm, 17 square minus y square so find x x is 17 square 2 8 9 minus 8 square 64 so 8 again we are using Pythagoras theorem isn't it to find x value well, x is x square is 225 when you find the square root positive value of x will be 15 so x will be when y is 8 x is 15 so we will use it y when y is 8 x is 15 we got it so we use all the values here 2 times 15 into 2 times 15 2 times 15 see 2 can be cancelled 2 can be commonly divided so ignore the 2 commonly divided both the terms have 2 take it out and divide by 2 both sides you will get this one 15 into dx is 15 dx by dt is 5 given here 5 plus y is 8 and what is the question is dy by dt so this will be uh, 75 so negative 75 in the right side 8 dy by dt is equal to negative 75 this will give you dy by dt is negative 75 over 8 foot per second or minute what is it per second okay foot per second that's the end that's the end of this problem thank you very much we'll see you with the next video